All right, Workout Worthy, welcome to Amazing Abs. This is a quick, functional, fun, core workout, perfect for all fitness levels. This can be a standalone workout you can do anytime, or you can add an Amazing Abs workout to one of our total body conditioning or PIO routines. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this workout. You can come back and do this challenge anytime. Now today's Amazing Abs is going to be based on time, not speed. And we are going to start with a butterfly crunch. So, 60 second intervals. Butterfly means the bottom of your feet's together, knees fall off to the side, carefully lower yourself down. In this position, we are going to do a basic crunch. So fingertips behind your ears, reach, lifting to a hover, and then basic crunches for 60 seconds. Here we go. Belly sucks in towards your spine, contracting those muscles inward. We're reaching through the crown of our head, keeping our chin level. And you wanna look up at the ceiling on an angle. I like to think about stretching to the wall behind me. So instead of rounding my back or trying to lift to the ceiling, I'm contracting and keeping that length through my spine. Breathing. Now, since this is based on time, not speed, you go at your own pace, fast enough that it's a challenge, but not so fast that you lose momentum. We are past halfway. We've got 20 seconds left. Strong crunches in this butterfly pose. Breathing, keeping those elbows out nice and wide. Never pulling on our head. Five seconds left, keep it up. Great job. Next exercise, dead bum. So knees are gonna be bent, arms are gonna be extended, and we are gonna lower the opposite hand with the opposite foot. You ready? 60 seconds, here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Belly is sucking in towards our spine. Breathing. And once again, since it's based on time, not speed, you wanna go fast enough that it's a challenge, not so fast that you use momentum. Keeping a neutral spine through this exercise so we don't want to arch our back. Belly is sucking in, flexing through the core, going through a comfortable range of motion so you shouldn't feel a stretch, especially in your shoulder. Feel that extension without overdoing your range of motion. We've got 20 seconds left. Fast enough that it's a challenge. Not so fast that we use momentum. Long neck, strong core. Keep it up. Breathing, don't hold your breath. These muscles are working, they need oxygen. Great job. All done. All right, holding your hamstrings, bring it up. Next exercise, you're gonna come to a boat pose. So balancing on your sit bones. If you need to, leave your feet on the floor. Otherwise, bring your legs up, holding your hamstrings. We've got 60 seconds where we're gonna extend and pull back in. Here we go, 60 seconds. Now, if you have to bring your feet down, that's fine. Do a reverse crunch with just your upper body. If you can bring your feet up though, extend and pull. The idea is to go as low as you can without touching the floor. And without straining, we're strengthening, never straining. It's a challenge, but you're doing it in good form, safely. Keep breathing. Nice long neck, keep the shoulders low and relaxed. Your belly is sucking in towards your spine. Holding those hamstrings for just a little bit of support. Breathing. Got 15 seconds left. Modify if you need to, slow down if you need to, but don't stop. Keep that effort going the entire interval. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring it down. Next exercise, leg drops. So we're gonna be laying on the floor, palms up, extend your legs vertical, and we're gonna alternate. So lowering one leg, pulling it back up, lowering the other. Here we go. 60 seconds. So keeping that long neutral spine, shoulders low and relaxed. I like my palms up so I make sure I'm not pushing with my hands. 
breathing. And once again, based on time, not speed, means go at your own pace, fast enough that it's a challenge, not so fast that you use momentum. Reach and contract, reach and contract, breathing. We wanna get as low as we can to the floor without touching and without straining our back. Keep it up. Fifteen seconds. Feel that length. Elongating as you lower. Elongating as you lift. Long, lean, strong muscles here. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Holding those hamstrings. Bring it up. Okay, Russian twists. We're going to have our feet flat on the floor. Inner thigh sealed. Interlocking our hands. Lean back. And we're going to twist one side to the other. Okay? 60 seconds, here we go. So you can go lower if you need a little more. You can twist farther, but again, a comfortable range of motion. We don't wanna over rotate. Long neck, shoulders low and relaxed, breathing. Keep your feet glued to the floor. Keep those inner thighs sealed. Belly sucks in towards the spine, so we're isometrically holding this crunch position and we're adding rotation through the torso. Halfway, 30 seconds, 25 seconds, keep going. Whew. Never holding your breath, make sure you're breathing through this challenge, it's tough. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds, fight for it. If you need less, come a little higher. If you need less, move a little smaller. Three, two, one. Great job, bring it up. Super bend, one minute. So carefully transition to your stomach. This is our last exercise. Bring your hand below your forehead, stretch, crown of your head. You ready, set, get ready up. 60 seconds of super bend. So feel that length elongating through the crown of your head elongating through the tips of your toes. Reach into the walls in front of you and behind you. And option one, you can keep your hands flat on the mat as you do your Superman. Option two, keep your fingers on your forehead, adding a little resistance and taking away some stability. Breathing. And the entire set of Superman feels like you're sucking your belly up towards your spine, lifting your belly up off of the mat. Legs are straight and we're contracting. Inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes are helping out. Your back, your core, your entire torso. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's do a quick stretch, sinking back. Extended child's pose. <clears throat> Reaching through your fingers, sinking your hips over your heels. Couple nice deep breaths. Round up. Okay, round two. We are gonna do those exact same exercises one more time. Second time through, you might be a little bit more fatigued, so you might go a little slower. Your range of motion might be a little smaller, but we are also gonna have an option to progress. So if you need a little bit more, there's gonna be a difficulty that we can add. So butterfly crunches are first. Bottom of our feet together. Are we ready? Option one, we're gonna do that basic crunch like we did before. Option two, we are gonna do a full sit up, reaching forward. Here we go, 60 seconds. So this is your challenge. Do you need that full range of motion? Can you safely do that full range of motion? That's up to you. Keeping that butterfly pose with the legs, contracting through the core, breathing. Now, if that full sit up is not what you need today, you can do basic crunches. And it's a minute. So you can split it up. You can do some with a smaller crunch, some with a bigger full sit up. We've got 20 seconds left. So choose the option that works for you. Keep breathing. 
10 seconds. So good, such a big movement. Five, four, three, two, one. Dead bum. One minute, arms up, legs up. So option one, like we did before with a bent knee. Option two, we're gonna extend straight, let the base kick. Straight. We ready? Here we go. One minute. So leg extension is the more advanced progression if you need a little more. If you do not need more, hip hinge, keeping the knee bent. Now the arm movements are the same regardless of what you've decided to do with your legs. Your neck is long, rib cage is pulled down, belly button is sucking in towards your spine. We're halfway. Keep it up. Dead bug. Long neck. Doing the range of motion that you need right now. Challenging yourself. Protecting your spine. Strengthening every muscle throughout your core. Almost there. We've got five seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Whew. Bring it up. Hey, boat. We can do exactly what we did before, holding the hamstrings. But if you need more, you can try extending your arms out. Let the base kick. Ready? Here we go. One minute. So your arms can be extended using your core, or you can hold your hamstrings. Your core is still working so hard, so don't be afraid of this option. The pride is not doing the hardest option. The goal is not going super fast. We are isolating our core. We are strengthening our core. And we're doing it safely. Do the option that works for you halfway. Keep breathing. Boat. Arms can be extended out using just your core. Fingertips can be on your hamstrings. And remember, if you need to put your feet down, do that reverse crunch, either holding your hamstrings or with your arms out. 15 seconds. This is our second and final time. 10 seconds. Let the Five, four, three, two, Woo. and one. Leg drops. Palms up. Long neck. Let the Legs kick. extend. We can do what we did before alternating one leg, then the other, or both legs. One minute. Ready? Strong. So my palms are up. I really want to make sure I'm not pushing with my arms. I'm making my core do this entire challenge. Lower down, lifting up. As low as we can get to the floor, without touching, without arching. Let the base kick. Both legs is a very, very strenuous option. If you feel any pressure in your back, you can do one leg at a time. What you need is the right option. Don't force it. Breathe through. Belly button is sucking in towards your spine. We've got 20 seconds left. You can mix it up. Maybe you do a couple with both legs. Maybe you do a couple alternating legs. Make it your own. Core should be shaken. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. One more. Woo. Bring it up. Russian twists. So if you remember, first time we did this, we kept our feet on the floor and we hinged back, rotating. You can do that again. If you need a little more though, bring your feet up. Still rotating. You ready? Go. One minute. Russian twists. So feet can be up or feet can be down. If you need less, come up higher. You don't have to lean very far to get that core engaged. Rotation is based on what your body needs. So don't go too low. Listen to you. Keep it up. Breathing through the challenge. Feet can be down and you can mix it up. That's the beauty of this workout. 
and we work at our own pace, we work at our own speed, we do the option that we need, and we do it well. Never afraid to modify. Modifying is how we progress, it's how we get stronger, and it's how we make sure we don't get injured. 10 seconds. Russian twists, you got this. Keep breathing. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and done. Superman, it's our last minute. Strengthening our core. So carefully transition to your stomach. Reach through the crown of your head. Reach through the tips of your toes. Lift to that hover. Here we go, 60 seconds. Elongate and control. Elongate and control. If your arms stay down, they're not pressing into the floor. They're simply giving you some stability and you're not having to lift that weight. If your hands stay on your forehead, that is additional resistance. You might need it, you might not. Make sure you're going through a comfortable range of motion, working at your own speed. Breathing through every single repetition, never holding our breath. Almost there, we're past halfway. Only 20 seconds left, you can do this. Feel that length. Seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Bending your knees, sink it back. Extend a child's pose, reaching through your fingers, sticking your hips over your heels. A couple of nice deep breaths, resting your forehead on your mat. Round up nice and slow. We're going to carefully come to butterfly. So bottom of your feet together, knees fall off to the side. This time, it's just going to be a gentle round and a gentle release. Gentle round and gentle release. Exhale and inhale. One more. Exhale and inhale. Fantastic job, Workout Worthy. That was a great core challenge. Make sure, subscribe to this channel, save this video. You can come back and do this challenge anytime that you would like. 